Hello everyone. In this video, I will walk you through Elastic Certified Engineer exam tips, tricks and exam strategy and my experience that I can share with you that can help you pass the Elastic Certified Engineer exam. So let's get started. So I passed this exam second time on uh, uh, August 21st, uh, 2022 and uh, this was my second time. Actually, I wrote this exam uh, first time uh, way back uh, on November 12th 2019 that was the first time when I passed this exam so there was like two times uh, I have I have successfully appeared and passed this exam uh, both on my first attempt so uh, so I'll just walk you through some of my exam strategy tips and tricks so first thing is to know is like uh, this is the exam uh, like if you just search for elastic certified engineer exam curriculum and on August 4, 2022, it was moved from the newer Elasticsearch version, version uh, 8.1. So make sure you just like uh, practice on a 8.1 cluster. Second thing is like just go through all the sections inside. Uh, so there are a total of five sections. And based on my experience, all the five sections are equally important. So it's important that you focus on all the uh, five sections equally and um so herein i have put some uh, some of the notes which i can share with you so first is like uh, there were 10 questions anyway this is part of uh, like if you if you search on youtube also it, this information will be there but uh, i'll just just sharing just to reinforce uh, there were 10 questions and 10 marks each and uh, so and the time allocated is 3 hours which is which i felt was more than sufficient so that means you have uh, 18 minutes per question and each question will be like a bit long and it will try to uh, test you on two to three different concepts even four sometimes so you can say uh, roughly on an average you would be tested on three different concepts and all these questions uh, will be solved via kibana dev tools so you don't have to log into any machines or do curl uh, to Elasticsearch cluster because uh, you will basically do everything in Kibana dev tools and you would not even have to like go through user interface like stack management or or, or any other like index uh, management or something everything can be done uh, through Kibana dev tools so as I mentioned no SSH to any server or command line usage and uh, there is no need to do any remote desktop so you basically you uh, when the exam starts you will remote desktop to a machine a go into machine and once you log into uh, once you get into that that's all uh, from that point onwards you are inside that machine and you will be doing everything inside that machine uh, okay uh, next is uh, like um, search uh, so you have to search for documentation uh, within the remote uh, UI interface itself so here in like uh, so once you log in, you will be uh, you can like uh, you will be presented with a uh, like a browser or like a Fire, 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 Firefox browser, and that will have default tab already loaded with your ten questions. So you will have like you click like link task one, task two, task three, and there will be a HTML page uh, with the instructions like question, and then uh, uh, and then before that you uh, you can. Uh, like there will be link like before the task one start they will be like please read that uh, part there will be like links for the kibana url so it's not like you can just go to localhost and start 5601 or something which i tried then i just went back to the first before task one there's a like uh, some instruction there will be like two links for the there are two clusters so there will be two two links uh, and uh, all the question will tell you like whether you it's cluster one or cluster two so just copy paste that link uh, in a different uh, in the same Firefox just open a new one more tab and paste the URL and just there will be username password all, also provided and that's all you can just um, I mean it was for me like two minutes of confusion uh, like confusion but uh, once I like composed myself then I okay all information we are already there so and this exam is con conducted via zoom app so basically the proctor will ask you to like um uh, once exam start uh, uh, the link will open in your zoom app or it will install for you uh, like once you click that link so uh, once you are inside that zoom app as i mentioned there'll be like a remote uh, 
user interface operating system interface ubuntu machine and that ubuntu machine you can open firefox search for documentation anything that you want to do so some questions require you to test uh, so some question will ask you to like uh, uh, provide the result so you search something and paste in a box provided below in the like so first you have to test of course right so you open a as i mentioned you open kibana console test some query and once you are satisfied you copy paste in the search box below the question but some questions may ask you to like make some changes to the cluster and uh, and when the assessment once you once you finish the exam they will just anyway they'll just check whether the whatever changes you made are as per the requirement or as per the question so it's a mix of uh, like sometime you copy pasting the query and uh, pasting it in a search in a box answer box below or uh, uh, and sometime you make something to the change to the cluster and they will uh, they will verify it later on so so the the documentation part right so i remember if i just open the new tab in that for firefox uh, like a browser which was already open it automatically op opened the uh, search documentation for me or it was in on the desktop there was an icon so i clicked that icon and it automatically opened the uh, elastic search documentation so it was one of the places but anyway it's very no worries it's very uh, straight forward it will be there somewhere like uh, on the desktop there were link for search documentation so it will open the elastic search documentation so it's very easy to find and uh, like now we'll come to some important uh, tips uh, so uh, let's say you are searching uh, searching something on the elastic search documentation so this is which i uh, immediately started like like once you have the link uh, right click and select open in a new tab for every question like uh, let's say you are on the question 1 uh, now you you have a tab open already with the documentation right so once you search something don't uh, don't click and uh, like so i'll just show you uh, for example i have this kibana console but I, this tip will come later on so for example i am on the uh, elastic search main documentation so let me go back to the uh, so this is how it would look something like so elastic search documentation so if i click here this uh, binoculars icon so i'll be coming here to documentation so let's say i am searching for something about custom analyzer so if i just search custom analyzer so after searching for custom analyzer it's very tempting to directly click this but rather i will just right click open link in a new tab so this will open here right so because uh, as i mentioned every question will test you on uh, multiple concepts so if i have to search something like specify analyzer like how to use an analyzer or, uh, like uh, so just go right do the same right click uh, open in a new tab and let's say i'm searching for i don't know how to use reindex api but i just remember the keywords as long as you remember the keywords it's you are uh, like well and good so sometimes you may have to scroll a little bit so just open uh, like new tab and even if you are like totally feel blank let's say i don't know even like i just started the exam i just feel totally lost so just do search query for example if if <laughs> if i feel totally like lost so you can just search query like probably uh, maybe you will not see something like okay so maybe uh, i can search for match query for example match query so match query uh, or maybe multi match query whatever i am searching so just just right click and open so i have opened all these tabs so i will just close some of the other tabs because i, I just wanted to like uh, so anyway i will I'll close it later because there is a tip around this also so just remember uh, and because you will be uh, searching for many concepts so for every question you may have to open three four tabs like search for three four different things and one more thing you can open as many search tabs as, as you want as i just uh, demonstrated so there is no limitation on that 
and once you are satisfied uh, with your answer uh, then you uh, i advise you probably to close uh, the tabs for example once you move, once you have got uh, the thing so i'll just come here and better i just like uh, close unnecessary tabs so that's one uh, one another tip and next is like um, please always copy the snippets of complete json from the documentation and then modify it as per the question yeah so uh, initially it's very tempting to start like answering the answering by writing the query ha like ha like word by word like typing it word by word but uh, during my exam i i realized it's much better to copy paste the relevant part uh, to the kibana console uh, all uh, like so i'll just show you like what i mean so for example i have this open i'll i'll just remove this so let's say i'm searching for something like custom analyzer right so uh, for something of this sort uh, let's say i take this full thing and copy it and second uh, like how to use something for example right i take this copy it and something like this uh copy it and for example one more thing i was searching for match query here take it and copy it so probably i'll copy it here so uh, what i mean to say is like uh, i have a question i have first i know like from these three four different places i have to refer so instead of trying to do something like put my index and trying to like uh, so it's better to like take one of the snippet as the starting point replace as per the question like for example index name probably you have to if you have to do like add some analyzer specific information you if you have to remove something for example let me remove something from here let's see if i know that uh, i don't need this i can remove something like this and uh, if i don't need this one i can remove this and something like uh, uh, for example if i don't need i can remove this and i put something here so you just construct your query something like this uh, it would be much faster for you to actually reach to your uh, answer uh, so for example in this case i already have created uh, index like this so so this way i, I like i just modified uh, the actual snippet by removing some parts changing some parts then if i need to do something like how to use this analyzer so i just have to like construct this query all together right this mappings uh, comes here right so i can take this and i know for the fact that uh, this can go like this right so i can just again uh, delete and now just now i have like put mappings and settings and i have created my index so and some for example i am just feel blank so i can just put like if there is a existing uh index i can just search so this is what i mean to say like consolidate all your uh findings in one place and then start modifying as per the question and uh this one i just have gone through like please copy all three different json snippet into the main kibana console and this will give you more clarity and finally work towards how to combine these three snippet towards producing the final single answer so you can see all at one place uh, and you copy paste modify as per the question and even in that like there is always this thing available right so for example if i come here you can always press uh, control space 
yeah just remember control space so if you if you are in a like if you don't know what types of query uh, is available like even if you don't know like whether it's a it start with a b c or whatever just start with just press control space uh, and you would be able to see like okay all these types of queries are available and the thing is like if you just search something uh, like it it should automatically fix for you uh, like what fields that goes into it so i'll just demonstrate here one more time so if i remove this one and now i'll just put again i'll try okay see automatically it came range so you see once you click that range automatically uh, it will give you uh, what field goes in and you can remove or modify it as per the question so i'll add this later in the slides like control space so that's also one uh, very good tip uh, okay so next part is once you have satisfactorily answered a question then press enter key multiple times to push down the answer below your view and then start answering the next line at number 1 so this is something which is very personal like i usually do that so let's say i have solved this question then what i would do is let's say this question is solved i have copy pasted or made some changes to a cluster i'll just press enter and just let it go slide down at the bottom and then i will start start next question then i'll write my query and all then again i will just uh, once i'm satisfied i just put it at the down so that way you don't lose uh, uh, any of your work and if if you want to come back later and like go through so it's it's even you can put like a like you can just put like also like question one so after you after uh, if you want to come back to next question or something if you just scroll down it will be very easy so you can put question one q2 whatever you feel like right so i just put question one if if later on i want to come down i can just scroll down and see okay where is the question one where is the question two and there is a very clear cut segregation so i am just starting for example question 3 so i can just put uh, and this if you just put hash it wouldn't bother you because it will it will it will be shown as a like a comment so it will be in green color so i just write start answering question uh, 3 here and and that's all actually uh, i wanted to cover so uh, if any uh, if any more tips uh, strategy or tricks i remember like i would be sharing in probably uh, separate video but uh, this is all i have got and thanks for watching bye